Hey, happy Friday peeps. So going to cover a quick sniper in the next closer look video here. And we're gonna look at this guy, Rashan. So he has an overall rating of C on Grax Excel files and I don't totally agree with that though. He is handy for quite a few things. So we'll walk through that and see exactly what he does. There's uh, some weapons that can make him a lot more formidable too. Uh, he, he really doesn't have the best defenses so I guess that's a, a counterpoint or to the 65 fast speed that he charges up so that uh, that happens though right so can't have any one hero that's overpowered there's got to be some balance so he does have that so I don't think he makes a very good defensive player necessarily but I find find him quite handy on offense for several things so Okay, let's go through that then. So he has, so his speed rating obviously being fast is a little bit higher. But he, he's listed as fairly average or below average besides that. So that's the part I don't necessarily agree with. But uh, yeah, his defenses aren't aren't very handy at all. So let's go through some weapons on him. Now there are several that come in very very handy with him. So offensively let's talk that. So if you have to use him for offense this is an excellent weapon for him. The speed boost of 9 actually does bump him up into the next breakpoint so he becomes a very fast hero and it drops uh, a tile off both um, tiles thrown into an enemy and the ghosting of the tiles. So that's pretty sweet. And then of course you got the critical chance. So if he's on offense, like this is made for offense, this weapon. It's the bomb. Uh, I, li I really like it. I think it's one of the better weapons we have. Um, out of all of the weapons of the month and the master weapons so because I offensively this is awesome these are two things that I like for offense so not only are you going to bump him up into the next breakpoint on speed and make him a very fast hero you're gonna have the critical chance damage same with this one you'll get the critical chance damage and, and the other is armor which is kind of blah but Hopefully armor plays more into the game in the future, but yeah, there's not much use for that right now. But you will get the critical chance on offense for him. Waffle, meh, armor damage. <laughs> not a big fan of armor damage. I don't know if you guys can tell. So dodge, which is fantastic if you have to use him for... You need a rainbow team for your defense, then... Dodge weapon, absolutely. And then you got the Melgor here, which is resistance. It's not. Eh, it's not a big deal to have resistance, really. Um, I find that I'm sacrificing my Melgors more than anything. This is the first four star red weapon I had, though, so it for a long time was my only one. And uh, yeah, so I still have it in my line up today but it's uh, nothing too fancy that's for sure now the other ones I still have in my lineup here the Tigger of course that is going to jump him up into the very fast category as well with the 7 speed added to a 63 so that's cool because Again, that will drop a tile off for him charging up. 
which is great. All right, so three star weapons. We got the moss green here. So if you do have to use him for defense, then he's going to get some extra health points on this one. So I think this is defensively a, a good choice. And then you got the Manchester here, which is critical chance. So when you're using him on offense, put this one on him for the extra tile damage. Okay, so there's one other red weapon that I don't have. Just gonna go into the summon gate here. The tank bane. I think I have all the other red weapons except for the tank bane. And here it is. Whoop. All right. So this is another resistance. 32% chance though is pretty high. So if you're playing against uh, somebody that does the status ailments like Arachi or Ingrid or somebody that does burn like uh, Hush 32% uh, chance is pretty high it's fairly high so defensively and I mean you could use this on offense too um, either way because this will add health points to keep them alive as well so defensively or offensively this is not a bad weapon in that case so um yeah i'm not sure honestly if i got a tank bane though it's i might sacrifice it <laughs> to promote another five star but yeah who knows that's uh that's not bad for either one though offense or defense usually they sway uh one way or the other where they're better on offense than they are on defense or vice versa but yeah that one's kind of handy for both really okay so what else do we have now the master weapons for him now I have a master weapon on him in my alt account so maybe I will switch over to that account and show that there and I also have emblems on him in that account so it would be good to show that too because there's quite the health and defense boost on him compared to this guy that I have here so there's a lot more uh, health and defense on him it's all you'll notice it's a lot higher it, and his attack is a lot higher too because I went down the attack path as well so okay I'm going to switch over there and we're going to continue there. Okay, so I use him quite constantly in my alt account here. And you can see the attack's a little bit higher, the defense is a little bit higher, and the health is a little bit higher here thanks to the emblems. Now, before we get into the emblems though, let's finish the master weapon rundown so there's four different master weapons and I do happen to have a red poison weapon so this is the three star I managed to snag this one which is awesome so he has that on him for fighting the war machine right now so I'll go and use my war machine flags at the end here in a couple minutes but uh, that is fantastic it, it's not a heck of a lot of damage over two turns however the effects stacks up right so he's fast charging and you get enough red tiles that he can hit a couple times in a row and then this effect ends up stacking on the war machine which is pretty darn handy actually I use them offensively quite a bit I must say anytime I need a red stack and uh, yeah the emblems did help with that help with uh, holding him up better so he can take a hit a little bit better because they do have to say I agree with the defenses being a little bit low in that because they really are he doesn't he doesn't last in a fight so the cubic is venom the falcon tech is a defense weapon um 
four star uh master weapon so if you had to, if you had a falcon tech and needed to use him on defense that's a good one to put on him the flashpoint is a five star master weapon and that is a burn one so that's fantastic too and that one stacks and the flashpoint has a lot more burn damage than the 50 poison damage so that certainly is handy absolutely and especially if you got him in a red stack where he's with i don't know, let's say haruto who burns then you're gonna get this uh the burn from the flashpoint that stacks on top of that so that's pretty cool and now there's also a five star levy that is a master weapon and that one has armor protection every turn per turn i don't know i think it's like 50 or higher armor every turn and uh yeah so that can definitely keep him alive longer so that is a good defensive weapon and I do find that these these ones that do poison or burn are effective on both defense or offense because every time they hit that weapon perk's gonna be on the hero that they hit, right? So I find them handy for both personally. Okay, so let's go look at the talents now, the talent grid. So he's spy class. And I went, I've gone down quite a ways because I had no reds in the beginning. I got Talia, she's getting up there, but I still need this guy for war depth. So for the time being, I'm going to leave the talents on him. Now let's look at this, the scramble, 3% chance to reduce the charge of an enemy by 10% after dealing damage. That's not bad. I love me the charge speed messer uppers. That is certainly handy. So three, six percent, nine percent. So he's got nine percent now. If I keep going down, which I'm not sure I'm going to add more emblems to him. He's fairly sturdy for what I need right now. So that'd be 12, 15 percent chance if I keep going down. And that's unfortunate that the charge bonus is the very last one on the spies, but uh, and the ch it's the last one and the most expensive one, of course. All right, so here's where you'll see the stats increase from the other shot that I took of him in uh, my main account. So this is why the stats increased. So I went down the attack side since he's a quick sniper, I want to take advantage of as much attack as I could. So along the way, you're going to pick up either a health bonus or a defense bonus along with the attack. So the path I chose gave me 36 health points and then 15 attack. And then to get the attack, I stayed on the right side here and we got defensive bonus. And attack again. Another 15%. So 2% critical chance. So any strikes that he does may do double damage if that 2% kicks in. So that's a pretty cool option as well. And then attack. So I'm staying on the attack path. Now here is a health bonus no matter what. So increased by 24 points. So if I keep going down, I will probably keep keep to the right mostly I think here and take advantage of the health with the attack. The more health he has the longer he stays alive right? So and then we got attack bonus over here. That would be the path I would take anyway so. So that is nice that you can uh, see that as well displayed right on their card. And then you, of course, could read the talent if you wanted to. So he's at 9% chance to reduce the charge of an enemy. And that does kick in. I do see it kick in. 
And that's awesome. If he's on offense, especially because you can control who you hit and you may be hitting a hero that's charged up to try and take them out and maybe you didn't quite get them, but the scramble might kick in and then they can't hit you anyway because he's reduced the charge. So that is a neat effect for sure. All right. So let's go in. He's in, uh, he's in my War Machine lineup right now, my stack for my great big stack of <laughs> mostly three star heroes. But like I said, I did put the Kubik on him. So that's got the venom to poison. And now I, I could use the speed weapon on him. And obviously that'll boost him into the next category as previously mentioned. However, the speed weapon on Latte being an average hero boosts him up to fast. So, you know, uh, it's a good combination because you got a defense down guy here with a quick sniper, another quick sniper, another quick sniper, <laughs> and then Brad, <laughs> who's the average. But as long as these guys stay alive and I can get some stun options on the war machine, this team actually can do a fair bit of damage against a seven star like we have. So I'm actually gonna swap out the charge drinks here for something that does damage. I gotta, I gotta craft more though. Well, here we go. I craft some flashbangs, so let's use those. All right, and. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll use, we'll use those, that's fine. Okay, let's go and see what he can do. Hopefully we get lots of uh, red tiles here. Oh, goodness. Okay, I need to start missing, thank you. Okay, so the two quick snipers lit up first. That's all right. And then now you see he's got the venom on him. I think I just said it was a burn weapon, but yeah, this is the venom one. And he's gone. <laughs> Oh, it really stinks not getting enough stun options on a war machine, I tell you. Because they can just snipe you out so quick. I guess I do kind of favor quick charging heroes too. A lot of people do, so that's probably another reason why I don't necessarily agree totally with all of Grok's assessment, but uh, yeah, he is fairly average in a lot of ways. And uh, if you need, like I say, if you need to use him on defense, by all means, um, but as soon as you have somebody that can better stand up to a hit, just replace them, that's all. Oh man, this isn't starting any better than the last one. Oh, there's some red tiles. So yeah, he's handy with a red stack on a green tank as well when I do raids. 
But again, like I say, I think he's better offensively, so I can control him better on a raid. And then he's always in my war team. He's on at least one flag. Sometimes I use the second one too. So I've used two Roshans in a war. Ah, oh, all that cascading and only one red tile. <laughs> oh well. I think that was a better hit than the last one. Oh gosh, yeah. That was a way better hit. Okay, so that's a brief rundown on our pal Roshan here. So I don't, I don't mind him at all. Um, yeah, being a fast sniper is sure is handy. And with all the red speed weapons there... That just makes it even better. So, okay, guys, happy Friday, and I will be back on Catterday with some more videos.